1.3 cc es la última boquilla que ha desarrollado SATA especialmente para la aplicación de barnices. The history with the 1.3 cc actually starts in our domestic market. Uh, a lot of technicians in our domestic market they got a lot of requests uh, from customers. We need a different kind of atomization for modern clear coats, especially modern HS, so high solid clear coats, uh, ultra high solid and high solid clear coats. Um, so this is when our domestic market or the technicians from our domestic market, they approached our R&D department and said, and they asked them, can we do something or can we provide our customers something for those modern high solid clear coats? Uh, and this is when our R&D department came out with the 1.3 CC. CC stands for clear coat, so it's a special nozzle for a clear coat application. Um, it gives you a nice white spray pattern. It does not come with the O spray pattern, it comes with the I spray pattern, so there's no I and O with the 1.3 CC. It always comes with the I spray pattern, but with a little bit of larger and wider spray fan of the I pattern. Um, with the material output, it gives you a little bit less than a regular 1.3 on an X5500. So you will not get the same material output with a 1.3 CC as you get it with a 1.3 I or O with the regular X55. Um, next thing is, it does not give you that large fade out zone like with the O nozzle on the X5500 and we do not want that large fade out zone on our clear coat gun, okay? Um, now I get a lot of questions from customers, can I, do I have to buy a 1.3 cc only for the uh, clear coat application? I was using my regular X5500 and I'm fine with it, so do I have to purchase a new 1.3 cc? My simple answer is no, you don't. You can applicate your clear coat the same way you did it before with your regular X5500. The advantage of the 1.3 cc, of course, is a finer atomization when it comes to high solid modern clear coats. Okay, so what is the advantage of the 1.3 cc or with the 1.3 cc nozzle? Um, it's the same thing as with the or, uh, X nozzle with the I and the O pattern. What we want to do is give the painter uh, a certain flexibility, okay? So the 1.3 cc does the same thing as the I and O pattern with the regular X5500. It makes you more flexible. What does that mean? I can use my regular X5500 if I want to have that little bit coarse OEM finish because not every time I want that flat mirror finish, you know? Sometimes I need a little bit coarse a little bit more coarse um, OEM finish. So this is when you use your X5500, just the way you did before. But when, you, when it comes to modern clear coats and you want that finer atomization and this real glossy um, uh, mirror-like finish, this is when the 1.3 cc comes into play. Um, next thing is um, the 1.3 cc, when you buy it as a complete gun. It comes with this nice red finish, it comes with those black spare parts, red tr um, black trigger and black uh, control knobs. Um, but you can also only buy a nozzle set, a 1.3 cc nozzle set for your regular X5500. So if you want to buy a, a designated clear coat gun and you say I want to have this uh, nice red finish and everything, okay, you can go with the with the entire gun. If you say no, I'm fine with only the nozzle set with a 1.3 cc and it gives you the same performance as this one. You just purchase the nozzle set for your regular X5500 and you've got the same effect.